Tina Turner wanted to be cremated and will have small private funeral. Tina Turner wanted to be cremated and is set to have a small private funeral. The What's Love Got to Do With It singer, whose death aged 83 from natural causes after years of health woes was announced on 24 May, is said not to have been keen on having a big final farewell, according to Eddie Hampton Armani who was Tina's personal assistant for more than 20 years. He told the Daily Mirror, she did not want a big public funeral. She wanted to be cremated, and I expect it to be a small, very private affair. I am sure there will be some kind of memorial concert and tribute later. It will be for her very close friends in Switzerland, and her manager. It will not be a big family occasion. Eddie, 65, kept in touch with Tina after she settled in Switzerland where she died at her $76 million compound with her second husband Erwin Bach, 67, by her side. Tina's former pa supported her through her abusive marriage to Ike Turner, until she found happiness with Erwin. Along with years of abuse from Ike, private dancer singer Tina was devastated when her two sons died. Raymond took his own life, aged 59, in 2018 while Ronnie died in 2022, aged 62, from cancer. She adopted Ike's two sons, Ike Jr. and Michael, but had little contact after her move to Switzerland. Eddie added Tina had left the past behind after the loss of her two sons. A spokesperson for Tina, born Anna Mae Bullock and dubbed the Queen of Rock and Roll, has confirmed to The Sun. There will be a private funeral ceremony attended by close friends and family. Her decades of health issues included a stroke PTSD from her abusive marriage to her former music partner Ike, as well as long-standing kidney issues. That led to Erwin donating one of his kidneys to her to save her life in 2017. One of her representatives said after her death, she had suffered a long illness. Tina's private funeral will mean the flood of fans who have gathered outside her 10-building estate on the northern shores of Lake Zurich, won't be attending. Tennessee-born Tina gave up her U.S. citizenship 10 years ago to become Swiss, moving there in 2013, three months after marrying Erwin. Tina Turner died from natural causes at home in Switzerland after battling intestinal cancer, four decades of high blood pressure and undergoing kidney transplant. Tina Turner died from natural causes at her home in Switzerland. It has been confirmed. The legendary singer passed away at the age of 83 in Kuznich near Zurich, following a long, unspecified illness. She had previously battled intestinal cancer and suffered with high blood pressure for over four decades. Her representatives confirmed to DailyMail.com that the queen of rock and roll died from natural causes. They announced the sad news of her death on May 24, saying, With her the world loses a music legend and role model. Following her death, Turner's memoir resurfaced where she admitted she once considered assisted suicide in 2016. Before her husband Erwin Bach donated his kidney to her, she revealed in her memoir that she signed up to an assisted suicide organization, as she mentally prepared herself for the possibility of dying. Turner had discovered her unmanaged high blood pressure had accelerated her kidney damage, and if her body was going to shut down, she started making peace with the idea of death. Her husband Bach stepped in to donate his kidney to her in 2017. Tina Turner's tragic death was announced on May 24, sending shockwaves across the world, but her cause of death was previously unknown. Turner was first diagnosed with high blood pressure in 1978, and in 2016, started her battle with intestinal cancer. At the same time, her kidneys were failing, which led to her transplant surgery in 2017. On April 9, 2023, in what are believed to be her final public remarks, she told The Guardian how she hoped the world would remember her, and how she did not fear death. How would you like to be remembered? The Guardian asked. As the queen of rock and roll? As a woman who showed other women that it is okay to strive for success on their own terms. Asked what frightens her about getting older, she replied. Nothing. This is life's full adventure, and I embrace and accept every day with what it brings. Turner is survived by two of her four sons, two preceded her in death, and her 67-year-old husband, Erwin Bach. The pair married in 2013 after dating for nearly 30 years. Born Anna Mae Bullock in 1939 in Brownsville, Tennessee, to Zelma and Floyd Bullock, Turner overcame a turbulent childhood and abusive marriage to become a musical sensation and legendary performer. In her early 20s, she found fame with the Ike and Tina Turner Review, a live act with her former husband. Behind their veneer of success and marital bliss, she endured brutal abuse throughout the marriage. They divorced in 1978. Turner, determined to succeed on her own and with four sons to raise, 
stunned fans and the media by speaking publicly about the abuse. I wanted to stop people from thinking that Ike and Tina was so positive, that we were such a great team Turner explained in an eponymous documentary. By the early 80s, she was a musical powerhouse in her own right standing shoulder to shoulder with the world's most revered rock stars, electrifying performances with Mick Jagger and David Bowie, set her success on fire, and she was quickly celebrated with awards and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Throughout her career, Turner won eight Grammys from 25 nominations and three Lifetime Grammy Awards. Her final stadium concert was in Sheffield, England, in 2009. On Thursday, well-wishers gathered outside the lakeside home of Tina Turner, to pay tribute to the music legend, who had made Switzerland her home for nearly three decades. Flowers and cards lay outside the house in the picturesque town of Koesnacht, on the shore of Lake Zurich. A steady stream of visitors came to the gates of her estate to light candles and leave messages for the singer whose hits included What's Love Got to Do With It, and simply the best. Locals described her as a popular neighbor who appreciated the lack of fuss from fellow residents when walking around. Turner moved to Switzerland with her longtime partner Bach in 1995. In 2013, shortly after marrying Bach, she became a Swiss national and gave up her U.S. citizenship. Tears and prayers outside Tina Turner's tranquil Swiss home. Someone like this should live forever said one of Tina Turner's neighbors, as she laid flowers outside the rock legend's lakeside home in Switzerland on Thursday. Barbara Burkhalter was among a steady stream of people who left cards and messages outside Turner's chateau, where the 83-year-old queen of rock had lived for nearly three decades. Turner's death on Wednesday sparked tributes from world leaders and fellow rock icons, but also from her neighbors in the plush Zurich suburb of Koesnacht where the star lived a quiet, untroubled life. I brought flowers and a little card. I really had to come, said Burkhalter, 69. She was my favorite. We loved that she was here, but we would never have bothered her. We don't hear your voice anymore, but it's still inside my heart. Antonella Carrero wept as she reflected on the role Turner's songs played in her life from childhood onwards. Going through hard times, music is what always pulls one back, and where you find yourself, and Tina gave me many. Many moments where I needed to feel good again, the 53-year-old South African told AFP. I know she's gone and the legend lives on forever, but it's just the pain knowing that this beautiful woman with this gift from God has finally gone to rest. Rest in power large bouquets and individual flowers were building up by the chateau gates, along with candles, cards and handwritten messages to the US-born superstar including one saying, rest in power. Besides her soaring vocals and magnetic stage presence, Turner's overcoming of domestic violence touched many around the world. Well-wisher Gaia Greaves said she was known locally as a kind person and a good neighbor, discreet and unassuming. I don't know how many times I passed here while listening to her songs and said hey Tina, Greaves told AFP, and I really admire what she symbolized for domestic violence, the way she blossomed with no hate. We have now the treasure of her music, and we have to keep listening to it. She was so strong Turner moved to Switzerland in 1995 with her longtime partner Erwin Bach. Some left flowers of condolence for the 67-year-old German producer. The grounds of their chateau have immaculately manicured hedges and huge colorful bushes in pink and blue hues. The turreted three-story white mansion, which backs onto Lake Zurich, is shielded from the road by towering trees. Her music became part of my life as a teenager, and got me thinking about what we make of this life, said Brian Mackey, 29. Among those paying their respects, my girlfriend is an even bigger fan than me. She's so sad, I brought the flowers for her. One man kneeled and blew three kisses towards the chateau. A woman tenderly touched the gates after laying flowers, while another woman said prayers in Italian. Turner's music blasted out in tribute from the cocktail bar across the road. Beautiful soul Andrea Brunetti, 47, an Italian at worker who lives in Lucerne left a rose with a love heart. She's the most beautiful woman in the last 200 years. She's really a treasure. She's more than an artist. She's a beautiful soul, he said. She always gave 110% until the end. Some people will never die. Thank you, Tina, for everything you gave to the people. Jerrica Saylor, 48, who met Turner many times in local restaurants over the past 20 years lit a candle. The fashion designer said that one time while driving into her chateau, Turner opened the window and said hi, and smiled. I was shouting for happiness. I went to three of her concerts anytime I see her film I always cry, she said. She was so strong. Her message for life, I will miss it. She was great in every way. She will always be simply the best.